Uh, the video I'm going to make today is a supplemental video um, to my How to Breathe Mealworms video that I posted last week. I forgot to um, mention this area when it uh, comes to breeding mealworms and I find a lot of videos on YouTube that have uh, incorrect information and it's regarding mealworm allergies. Uh, I had an exchange with David from David's Fine Geckos and I'll put a link to his video on the bottom and where I believe his husbandry uh, of the mealworms is you know f not great. He claims to feed his mealworms and superworms only organic uh, vegetables and high-grade premium dog food. Uh, he doesn't clean their poop out or the shed skins or even the dead beetles, and uh, he lets his mealworms root through that. And I think that's disgusting. But um, the major point I had with this video is his his uh, point he made about how we are allergic to mealworms. And basically he says specifically that um, mealwor mealworms exude a, a oil from their skin and they actually shoot a mist out of their tail. And it's that mist that they shoot out of their tail that causes an allergic reaction uh, to us humans, which is incorrect. Um, what I did is I posted a comment on his video saying that people who claim to be allergic to the mealworms aren't actually allergic to the mealworm itself, but they're more allergic to the frass and the dust and the skin, that the byproducts that the mealworm create. Um, instead of him responding to my comment saying, you know, I, I feel this way or I know this because he basically smugly said incorrect. And then he erased my, my comment altogether. Um, so I basically commented again, stating uh, scientific facts is my proof and uh, he erased that comment and then he proceeded to block me from his YouTube channel. I emailed him to his personal email account through his uh, website and he didn't respond. I wasn't trying to be negative or, or cause problems, but I think it's important, especially when you're talking about allergies and something that people can get sick from, that you actually disseminate the right information. Um, there's no scientific evidence that I found anywhere on the internet, whether it's a scientific site, reptile forums, or anything that has ever made any reference to mealworms shooting mists from their tails. Um, I am in fact allergic to mealworms and that's the reason I did a lot of research on it is because I, you know, when I come around the mealworms and I deal with the, the poop and the frass, you know, this dust stuff, my lymph nodes in my neck get really swollen and uh, I get really congested. My chest will start to feel real heavy. So I, I did some research to find out why and what I was allergic to. Um, so anyway, I basically tried to give David from David's Fine Gecko some information and he, you know, pretty much doesn't want anyone to contradict anything on his videos and he erases them. If you notice on any of his videos, he has zero negative comments or zero comments of anyone even questioning his, his authority or his informational knowledge because they're all been erased. And I looked on his channel and it says he does reserve the right to remove negative comments. But removing negative comments like smart ass kids is one thing. But removing a comment of someone who's trying to basically help and say, look, you know, your information may be off is just being a power freak, you know, being a megalomaniac. And no one can tell David anything different than what he says because his opinions are, are fact and they're set in stone. Well, anyway, you'll notice in the mealworms, um, you can see this darker, just really fine stuff, not the big set of oats, but the, the other stuff, and uh, it's called frass. It's basically their poop and their byproducts, it's like dust that they create when they eat the oats. This container here, you can see the very top layer is oats, and then the bottom layer is frass. I'm keeping that because there's really tiny mealworms in there and I have to sift them out. Uh, the research and the studies I've read state that in the frass alone, there's four individual proteins that cause allergic reactions. So it's not just one chemical or one thing that causes people to be allergic. In the poop alone, there's four different proteins. Uh, I think I read somewhere that in the shed skin, I don't know if I can find any. A little stuff right here is shed skin, a little orangey crumple thing. The shed skin has like five or six proteins. So just between the poop and the uh, skin, there's ten different proteins that will cause an allergic reaction. I think the beetle itself has four or five. So you're looking at from pupa to larva to beetle, that's like 16 different times you, you could be sick. The beetles don't really create that much of a um, dust. Uh, they do create it, but not as much as the, the mealworms. The mealworms basically root through the oats and create a lot of dust. When I uh, sift, like later on today, I'll take my sifter here or 
bigger one, and I will go outside to the patio and I will sift them out because if I do, don't do it outside, I'll get it all over the house. It's inside, on the couches, on my clothing, in my face. So I'll go outside with a mask and I'll sift it and um, clean it out that way. Um, if if uh, you're not sure you're allergic to mealworms, I would say just wear a mask anyway because it's basically dust. Now you dust your house and you don't want to get dust in your mouth. So it's a, basically the same thing. Uh, when you uh, hold mealworms, like I hold them, I don't have any problem with the mealworm itself. You know, there's no fine mist that comes out into my face like some kind of cobra or spitting reptile or something. I have no problems. It is, however, when I breathe in the dust, when I'm cleaning, I start to get the respiratory issues. You know, even I get little hives on my, the outsides of my hands. Um, I get itch, you know, really itchy. And then my face, you know, obviously uh, my throat. But I can assure you there's no mist that they shoot into your face. Because one of the major uh, case studies they did was of a teacher. And she had a mealworm farm in her classroom. And she never once touched the mealworm farm. But as soon as she would walk in her classroom, she would start getting asthma symptoms. And they determined that the mealworms were the cause. Um, she was nowhere near the mealworm, in fact, in order to be susceptible to some elusive mist from the tail. And um, a lot of people who work in grain factories will have the same symptoms because these beetles will get into grain silos and they'll eat the grain. They're not touching the mealworm. They're not getting shot in the face with some sort of mist or some oil being shot into their mouth. And they still have allergic reactions. Um, reptile stores uh, will have the... Their workers have the same problem, or fish bait stores. Um, you know, it's it's pretty much if you're around it, you can breathe it in, and you're going to get it. So, uh, if you have any questions about this video, go ahead and leave a comment. If it's contradictory to what I believe, maybe we'll have a, a, a discussion, and you could back your facts up with, and I'll back my facts up. But um, I won't erase you just because you don't agree with me, and I won't block you because you post something that isn't coincide exactly with my my point of view. I think we're all here to help each other gain knowledge and, and you know further our goals of being better keepers. And just because one person doesn't necessarily agree with the other person doesn't mean one person's wrong. You know, some people want to give their vitamins inside the mealworm dish. I give my vitamins outside the mealworm dish. Does it mean that the guy who puts his vitamins in the dish make him any better than me? Or does it make him a jackass? No, it doesn't. Uh, there's different, you know, more than one way to skin a cat, I guess. And um, once everybody actually gets a better grasp of this, I think the reptile community will, will do better for it. But until then, we have to deal with dickheads that, uh, you know, are on power trips that think their shit don't stink and they have the best geckos in the world. And, you know, David's fine geckos. If you look at his website, it's beautiful geckos. Their animals are great. He really goes to the lengths to take care of them. I mean, I think they're a little bit overpriced for, for what he's selling. And, you know, but, uh, I guess that's another topic for another video. So until then. Thank you.